Okay, many thanks. Um, we, we, I'm just going to take you on a, a whistle stop tour of, of what we're up to in Wales. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm the managing director of the All Wales Medical Genomics Service. Um, we're going to touch very briefly on the 100,000 genomes, but, but again, you, we, I'll explain why we're only going to lightly touch on that. So this, this is Wales. Um, the, if you look to the left hand side, the, the very small but important bit for us in the UK is in red. We're a devolved nation uh, and one of the matters that is devolved is health. So we have our own government, um, the Senate. Um, the, the main picture describes the way that the NHS in Wales is, is sort of structured. Um, we've got seven health boards and we've got a number of trusts and strategic health authorities. Um, we're, we're a very small nation and, and quite stable as well, about 3.1 million. Um, it, in the southeast, uh, well, mainly along the south, it, it's very much post-industrial. Um, lots of socio-economic deprivation. I think we're one of the highest in Europe. Uh, and then many other areas uh, of Wales, very much like Scotland, are, are, are very, are very rural. Um, I was going to say on the on the bottom right hand side that we have a genetic predisposition for rugby, but um, apparently not as much as the French. So uh, we found that out on the weekend. So who are we in the All Wales Medical Genomics Service? So we're, we're a single national service, so we cover all of Wales. Um, we've got a laboratory hub, which is in Cardiff. We're hosted by Cardiff and Vale. Um, the clinical service, again, has a hub in, in Cardiff, but has clinics right across NHS Wales. Um, I'll just give you a flavour of, of, of what we do. I mean, it's comprehensive um, rare disease and cancer. Um, but prenatal services, um, we, we, we delivered the first NIPT, I think, in the UK service in 2017. Um, cancer services, we've got a footprint in CT DNA, um, NTRAC, where we brought online in 2020, uh, and we're just about to implement a 500 um, gene cancer panel. Um, rare diseases, again, this is just a flavor, but in 2020, uh, we provided the first, uh, it's a UCAS accredited whole genome sequencing for sick neonates. Um, Farben Core Genomics, again, we rolled out our DPYD testing in 2020. And we have extensive um, NGS capacity, and, and we're looking now to supplement that and, and bring in another NovaSeq this year. So, um, with Welsh government support, we've we've been pushing forward a lot of these these services. So, the 100,000 genomes um, uh, project, we did participate, but we were we were very late to the party. We we didn't um, join until 2018. We didn't recruit our first patients, um, and again, this was only in in rare diseases. I'm, I'm not going to, to explain too much. I mean, Scotia very much described the process and we went through a similar process in Wales as a, as a devolved nation. But about the same time, uh, we were working up something which is pretty important for us, which was the Genomics for Precision Medicine Strategy. Um, we'd worked on it for a couple of years, but this was published in 2017. Um, I mean, there, there were a number of, of stated aims um, we were looking to create an internationally recognized uh, medical and public health genomic service, but with associated research. Again, we were very keen to make sure patients in Wales had easier access and quicker access to, to genetic tests. Um, we were committed to develop a, a, a single genetic service in Wales, um, including building a new genetics laboratory. Uh, we wanted to recruit more genetic experts and data uh, analysis and provide more training to um, any or existing NHS staff. So really get into mainstreaming. Uh, we wanted to improve IT and data sharing systems to deal with obviously the vast amounts of data that we'd be producing. Um, we wanted to enhance uh, our capability and capacity for research and really get into sort of academic and, and, and industrial relationships with the NHS. Raising public awareness was a big thing for us. Um, and also we wanted um, to start the conversation about data protection, consent and confidel uh, confidentiality. And we wanted to do that as a society. So, um, Genomics Partnership Wales. This came out of the Genomics for Precision Medicine Strategy. It's the programme. Um, the, the three main um, delivery uh, partners are the AWMGS, which I've described, uh, the Wales Gene Park, which is hosted by Cardiff University, um, they, they enable and facilitate all of the um, academic research in Wales and, and public engagement. Um, and, and one of our key partners we're very proud of is the Pathogen Genomics Unit, hosted by Public Health Wales. Again, a single service for Wales uh, that has done all the sequencing, you know, particularly around COVID. Um, 
another of the key partners is Welsh Government. Uh, we're very close to policy and that's given us a lot of agility. Um, you know, we, we, we've, we've been able to, uh, to position genomics really at the heart of precision medicine, not just about health, but, you know, in terms of economic development. Uh, and we're very proud of our um, patient and public sounding board uh, and patients and, and the public uh, have permanent representation on our GPW boards. So, you know, they, they have full representation in the decision making with our groups. So what, what are we working on? Well, actually, we've been working on quite a lot. Um, the co-location uh, of the uh, AWMGS, um, Pengu uh, and the Wales Gene Park, the three key partners. So we're going to bring all of our uh, clinical service capacity and capability in Wales together in a single hub in Cardiff uh, and then bring in the Wales Gene Park. So we blend in all of those research activities. Uh, the business case is, is in development, but we are anticipating um, if successful, we will be in our new facilities in early 2022. So we will have a single hub for Wales, uh, covering all human and, and pathogen genomics. Um, again, very proud of our patient um, public sounding board, very vibrant and engaged and, and informs a lot of our decision making. Um, we've been working on consent to collect genomic data uh, and samples for research and data sharing. Um, we're working on a data promise for Wales, but we're also reviewing um, other consent models, other UK consent models, to see what works best for us. Um, we've developed shared operating models for, for our sequencing capacity. And again, although we've got one NovaSeq, we're looking to get a second. We look at this very much as, as assets for Wales. So we're, we're looking how the, the, we, we use these to sort of catalyze and, uh, uh, and encourage um, uh, research and collaboration. So again, we've done a lot of work on the digital infrastructure, support data sharing. We've got a, a, a REN network, which connects the AWMGS and Cardiff University. And we've got the CLIMB network uh, for our pathogen genomics. Again, workforce, we've got a high level service specification for, for joint bioinformatics team. What we're trying to create is a, a again, um, within genomics, a single bioinformatics team for Wales, covering both human and, um, uh, and pathogens. Um, we've got shared commissioning models, and, and this is very much driven by equity of access to test in the NHS, uh, sorry, it, to test for NHS Wales. Um, and, and again, we're, we're looking very much at things like the test directory to see what's being rolled out in England. Um, training, lots of work being done on mainstreaming uh, across uh, healthcare disciplines, uh, and we've created a network throughout NHS Wales of genomic champions. Uh, we're committed to combined genomics roadshows, again, very much doing everything together in Wales. Uh, and we've also, um, uh, we're also committed to a number of showcases. So collaborative research and innovation. Um, we're, we're commissioning Swans University to, to do some work for us around functional genomics. And again, we're, we're, we're starting to get into this relationship with neuropsychiatry. Um, so the MRC Center for Neuropsychiatric Genetics and Genomics, um, it's a global leader. Um, I think it's, it's probably one of Europe's leading centers for psychiatric genetics. Uh, and this collaborative work is very much being led by the clinical services. So we're looking how we take all of this, you know, globally leading research and convert it into to clinical practice in Wales. So, so again, the, the genomics for precision medicine strategies has enabled all of this activity. We're trying to join everything up um, in Wales so you'll have a single access point through the hub in Cardiff. So um, a lot of our policy as well um, clearly sets out, everything is aligned in terms of, of creating a precision medicine infrastructure for Wales. So um, the written statement uh, on precision medicine uh, came up from our, our Minister of Health and Social Care, very much talks about bringing together NHS, academia uh, and industry. Um, we've got the advanced cell and gene therapies uh, program. So the, uh, you know, the ATMPs, uh, we had our first success in, in Wales in 2019. It's, it's, it's very young, it's, you know, it, it's, an, it's a nascent program, but we're, again, we're pulling it all together. There was also another, um, important part of policy, it was called the, the National Pathology Statement of Intent. And that described a, a national network uh, for pathology with three regional footprints, one in um, the Southwest, one in the North, um, uh, and one in the Southeast. 
and again, southeast covers, uh, you know, Cardiff is, is located in southeast Wales, but this was all very much part of a, a national uh, precision medicine infrastructure. Um, well, some of the images have gone here, but, but we, we soon realised as well, there, there, was, there was something interesting going on in Wales, um, certainly around life sciences and precision medicine. Uh, Cardiff has been des uh, designated a precision medicine centre of excellence. Uh, and the number of life science companies located in Wales is a fifth higher per capita uh, than the UK average. And the majority of these are in Southeast Wales. So just to show you, this is what the, uh, the map of the region looks like. You can see um, Cardiff there um, with the AWMGS and Genomics Partnership Wales. We're positioning genomics right at the heart of this, um, of this program in Wales. Um, the Southeast region has about 200 life science um, companies got a turnover of about 1.5 billion uh, and pre-pandemic anyway uh, over 8,000 employees and the FDI ratio the foreign direct investment ratio um, was the second highest in the UK so again it, this is starting to um, create some some investment opportunities job creation and as I said earlier um, some of these areas in in the in the Welsh valleys and you can see Merthyr and, and Blaine and Gwent there have some of the, you know, some of the most socio-economically deprived uh, areas, trying to create jobs in these areas. I mean, a key determinant for health, as you know, is employment. It was a was a, a vital thing for us to do uh, through these new, through the sort of the these reconfigured services. Um, and also, you know, we had a duty to the um, to the population that lives in these areas. Some of the worst cancer outcomes in Europe. So. Um, What's the Precision Medicine Centre of Excellence? Um, again, it's a physical centre. Uh, we're positioned as an rd &I asset um, with a focus on public sector and private sector co-production. Um, has four main focal parts, uh, integrated diagnostics, in, in vivo diagnostics, sorry, in vitro diagnostics. Um, very much so this is a, a data factory, so really wanted to, to engage with a, as, a, as an AI and, and data science hub. Uh, we were bringing in personalized therapies and, and biomanufacturing, you know, our research in these areas, um, about co-productive NHS, academia and industry, incubator and accelerator space. So very much um, feeding the, the cluster in Southeast Wales. So um, what, what's it going to look like? Um, as we said, we, we've got the um, Genomics Hub, um, Genomics Partnership Wales. Uh, we're going to bring in specialist national, super regional and regional pathology and biobanking services um, aligned to research. And we're doing a piece of work. We've got a, um, a review of precision medicine in the NHS, uh, which has been undertaken presently. That is linked to a review within Cardiff University of aligned uh, precision medicine research assets. But we're primarily in the NHS looking at cellular pathology, um, microbiology, specialist blood sciences, uh, pocked around governance um, and R&D, and, and again, with microbiology, bring in the reference laboratories. So, so this is all being built around what we're seeing as phase one, which is the consolidation and co-location of, of genomics. So again, it's very much the honeypot. It's very much the focus of our precision medicine, am, uh, precision medicine ambitions in Wales. Um, we're looking at co-productive um, uh, data, uh, as well as medtech laboratory spaces. Um, serendipitously, uh, I mean, this new centre that we're creating is adjacent to the uh, new Valindra Cancer Centre, which has just had the green light in Wales. That opens up real opportunities for collaborative working uh, around cancer innovation. Uh, and the AI and Data Centre, we're working with the Data Nation Accelerator, which is a programme, it's, um, it's a partnership programme between Cardiff University, Swansea University, Bangor University and Aberystwyth University. So, so this has a, an all Wales um, reach in, in, terms of, in terms of data. So again, we're, we're bringing this all together. We're, we're cognizant of the, the fixed assets that we have, um, not just within Cardiff, but in the, uh, the wider region. We've got the Cardiff University uh, Brain Research Institute. Um, uh, we, we've got a number of, of PETIC, um, uh, PET scanners, uh, but we're also linking in with the, the national data uh, digital cellular pathology program so again we're setting this up once for wales um, the national data resource which will bring in we've got a single welsh laboratory information system it's got about two to three billion um results in it at the moment w we're, we're connecting all of our point of care test testing devices 
Currently, we have all our secondary care testing devices um, connected, and now we're moving into all of our um, community uh, devices. We've got a national PACS archive, so we're, we're building up a massive data lake. And again, we just want to make sure that, that we have that interconnectivity, that connectedness uh, with, with our genomic data in Wales. So, so we're joining everything up. So again, that was very much, I, I, was, uh, I was acutely aware of the time, that, that was very much a whistle stop tour of what we're up to in Wales. Um, it's a very high level take, uh, but hopefully that, that gives you a sense of, of, of our ambition. Oh.